Yes, us, and welcome back to another episode of G Travels Food Adventures. Right now, I'm on the stunning island of Corfu, which is in Greece. It is one of the Ionian Islands, and it is the land of feta, tzatziki, and moussaka. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into the video. to Mama Souvlaki and I'm so excited. I have, I love Souvlaki, I love gyros. It's something that we eat back in Australia. Typically it's like a, a 2 a.m. drunk feed, but here it is part of the culture. So I've come to try my first gyros and I'll see it when it gets here. So I've just got my pork gyros to try and it looks so good. So gyros is like a kind of like a kebab, but it, so it's got shredded like meat that have been cooked on like almost like a spit. And um, in gyros, they also have chips in it. So I'm gonna try everything kind of individually, and I'll try and get a big bite together. So this is the chips that are inside of it, covered in some sort of sauce. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. I can't even tell you what that sauce is. It doesn't, it's almost like it's got like just like paprika in it, but anyway, I'm gonna try some of the, the pork now. Whoa, mmm. That hits different. That is like, mmm. Oh, that's so good. It's like, mmm. That is packed full of flavor. It is crispy on the outside from where it's been rotating on that spit. And oh, it actually just melts in your mouth. And it's a lot more like meaty than the ones that we get in Australia. Like this is 50 times better. It is so good. Oh my God, that is literally, mm, that's so good. So, mm, ooh, there's also some tzatziki on here. That's really good tzatziki. So tzatziki is like that yogurt dip with dill. Really, really good. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this because as you can see, it is massive. It's like the size of my head and it's wrapped in pita. So let me try a bit of the pita. They make it fresh here. Yeah, that's really, really good pita. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you guys at the next location. So today I have come to the central market here in Corfu town. Going to fresh food markets is my favorite thing to do in every single city that I go to. I feel like you get a very good feel of a culture this way. Um, so the main difference here that I've noticed is they've got Greek eggplant. So they are used to make moussaka and there are these little kind of purple ones here behind me. and. I love it. But the real reason I'm here today is not just to check out fresh fruit and veggies and seafood, but to actually come to one of the stalls here to get freshly cooked calamari. It was caught this morning and let's go check it out.
So I've just gotten my calamari and I'm so excited to try it. There is no name for this restaurant. I asked them and they were like, uh, we're just here and I was like okay um, and there's no written menu it's only a spoken menu which I think is so authentic and I absolutely love that um, so I've ordered the calamari um, and it comes with like a salt crusted um, oregano and salt like crusting on it um, but here we go let's this is it here and it's more like it's a really light butter it's not like a it's not like a heavy batter oh Mm -hmm. that is so phenomenal it's so so tender you can tell it was freshly caught this morning they told me that it, they get their seafood fresh here from the market and it's caught every morning um and so that because it's a spoken menu it changes slightly from day to day depending on what local fresh seafood they can get um, but they've also got standard things like greek salads on their menu um, and typically it's like a, a calamari or a prawn or a mussels in like a sauce and then the calamari is just like fresh on its own so um, if you're ever in the markets definitely come and get it um, it's like a full full baby baby squid so like look at these look at these tentacles i love tentacles So good, one of my favorite parts of the squid. So I will see you guys a little bit later. So I've come to this restaurant here in the old town of Corfu called Tratamento. I have no idea what the accent would be like or what it sounds like, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But I've ordered a Greek salad. It is what I've been eating here every single day on Corfu. I absolutely adore Greek salads. Um, Cause who wants lettuce? No one needs the lettuce and salads. Like it's everything you want. It's feta, it's olives, onions, tomatoes, so much olive oil. So I'm very excited to try it and show you guys a little bit about the Greek salad. And yes, I've gotten a bit burnt today. I've been wandering all day in the sun and I forgot to put sunscreen on and not a good look, but hopefully it'll, it won't be too bad. Alrighty, so I've got my salad here. So let's have a bit of a taste. Get a bit of everything, get a bit of the lettuce, well not lettuce, the cucumber, the onion, tomatoes, and some feta. Oh, yeah. mm. That's so good. Mm. So light, so fresh. It's almost been like the perfect dinner because I've been eating like more of a heavy lunch and then light dinner, which I've really been enjoying. Let me try one of these olives. Mm. Can't bloody get it. Alright, I'm gonna use my finger. It's gross. Yum, olive. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. These are probably the best olives that I've had in a salad since I've been here. They are absolutely phenomenal. If you're in Corfu town, definitely get a Greek salad. Everywhere does really fantastic ones. So, any of the little taverners, um, that's usually where the local Greek people eat. Definitely go and get a salad because. They're so good, they're so delicious, they're so light, so fresh, and they're very good for you. breakfast every single day while I've been on the island of Corfu I've been getting spanakopita which is a traditional spinach pie usually it's got feta in it as well and it is so so good so for my last day today I think I might have found the best place to eat it I'm not too sure but it looked 
absolutely incredible. It's called Pantoria, but I'll link a list of all of my favorite bakeries that I've been to down in the description below. But let's give this a go. So, so it looks like this and it's absolutely packed full of layers of spinach and feta in phyllo pastry. So it's not that bad for you. It's actually pretty good. Um, and it is so delicious. Um, so let's try this one. This one feels like nice and crispy, which I really like. Mm. Oh yeah, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's like, you feel like you're being healthy because you're eating a heap of spinach but it doesn't taste healthy. So I think it's like the best of both worlds. Like it's not that bad for you. It's just phyllo pastry, cheese and spinach, but it tastes very creamy, very luxurious. And it's been my absolutely favorite thing to eat for breakfast. I love a savory breakfast. I'm not a huge sweet person. So this has been perfect. If you ever come to Greece, they're all over Greece. Um, it's called Spanakopita or you'll see it as spinach and cheese pies. Um, and they come in these little square slabs so definitely get one if you ever head to Greece. Nino's today to try their pastizio. This place is absolutely pumping. You need to get here early because it, I mean, A, it sells out, and B, it's just packed. It's midday, they've only been open for about 20 minutes, and this place is completely full. Um, I'm on this huge table here on my own, but I've ordered a takeaway of the pastizio, and it's a 15 minute wait to get it, so I cannot wait to try it. So, pastizio is a pasta bake style Greek dish. It is specific to the Ionian Islands. So Corfu, Ithaki, uh, Kefalonia, Zakynthos, you'll find it there, but you're not going to find it in Athens. So I'm so excited to try it. I came here and got Moussaka the other day and it was phenomenal. So I can't wait to try the Pasitio and I'll see you guys shortly. I have managed to get my pastizio and I'm just sitting in the park here, which is how I love to do it. Um, I love eating in restaurants from time to time, but sometimes I just want to sit outside. So I found a nice shady spot. I've got my pastizio. Um, so let's give this a go. So it's like a pasta bake with like a mint. So this is it here. They're like these long, almost penne like um, pastas. Um, but let's have a taste. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is so, so good. Mm. There is a reason why this dish is so famous here in Corfu. It is delicious. It's kind of like a creamy pasta, but with mince on top. So, and then a cake layer of cheese. It's done in the oven. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you ever come to any of the Ionian Islands, it's definitely a must to try on your list. That's it for today's video. I hope you've had a good time coming around coffee with me and I will see you guys next in Athens.